Good morning, folks. Today we're going to be checking out a couple earthquakes, the tropical storm threat to Florida, and two papers on how the sun impacts Earth's atmosphere. But we also have space weather we're watching for, and we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring is on the decline as the big sunspots depart. We still had a few more M-class solar flares and a filament collapsed on the south. No notable CME from it. We have two main things we're keeping an eye on today and in the days ahead. The first is the solar wind. That CME from three days ago is due to impact at some point tonight or maybe early tomorrow. NOAA forecasting level 2 geomagnetic storm conditions. We're watching closely. We're also monitoring the sunspots for more flare activity. While the big complex is departing on the right, the incoming groups have also produced flares, and their activity and morphology will be in focus as well. Up next, the Philippines was rocking yesterday, and magnitude 6.8 and 6.3 struck just offshore. Luckily, no damage from these events as they were out to sea, and the building codes consider high magnitude events in the area. On the other side of the world, that tropical system keeps intensifying. It is expected to be named Tropical Storm Debbie today and could reach hurricane status before slamming into the U.S. coast along this forecast track here. Eyes open, and locals please get in gear for that impact. Excellent study up next, showing how solar radiation impacts water reactions in the atmosphere and how it seems to work even at night. This is an unexpected addition to the other various ways we know the sun affects the atmospheric processes, which in this case are related to humidity, temperature, wind, clouds, and precipitation. Last but not least, we are looking at the solar flare effect on the ionosphere, which often leads to magnetic crochets in the atmosphere. They found major electromagnetic variations in the ionosphere from pole to pole during flares, which is exactly where the global electric circuit can be affected. This energization impacts not only the magnetic field of Earth, but the vertical currents that thread through the atmosphere, which then affect pretty much all weather. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.